The iPhone is not only a camera, it's probably the best camera you own and it's in your pocket. Taking pictures is a lot easier than you think. If you're a senior or a beginner learning how to use your iPhone, then this video is for you. Today, I'm going to give you five easy tips on how to use the camera on your iPhone. Roll the intro. Hi, I'm Rich Bolin and I've been building out a series of videos for seniors on how to use the iPhone. Be sure to check them out. They're short, easy to follow, and take the frustration out of learning how to use your iPhone. Links in the description below. And if you do find them helpful, please consider subscribing to this channel. All you need to do is tap the subscribe button. And thanks to all of you who have subscribed. Today's video is all about taking pictures. When I was a kid, I had to buy film to stick in my camera. Most of the time you'd get 12 or 24 pictures per roll. And after taking the pictures, you had to take the film to get it developed. And it wasn't cheap. So you were always careful with the pictures you took. No need to worry about that anymore. You can take 100 pictures today if you want to. Keep what you want and throw away what you don't want. That's just one of the beauties of digital photography. In today's five tips, I'm going to show you how to frame up your pictures using the grid. If you've struggled getting your subject in the right spot in your picture, then this one tip alone is worth watching this video. I'm also going to teach you how to zoom in and out, how to take a selfie, how to shoot a video, and how to share your pictures in a text message. And at the end, I got a bonus tip on how to delete unwanted pictures. Let's get started. So, are you one of those photographers that have a hard time getting the subject in the frame? You know, you want to take a picture like this of this pretty plant, but somehow when you take it, you do that, and then all of a sudden you're looking at a picture and that's what you got. You didn't really get a good picture of the plant. Well, an easy way to remedy that and to solve that problem is to go into your settings. I'm going into settings right here slide down till you get to camera and then click on grid and when you click on the grid and you go back to your camera you're now going to see these little squares in here and you can get your all you have to do is center whatever you want to take a picture of in the center square so if you do that and just take a picture now you've done it well. I don't know how good these little squares will show on the video, but if you can see them, they're here and here, and they go across. And so your goal is to get your subject as close to the center as you can, and then take a picture. Then when you go back to look at your pictures, that's what you have, a nice pretty picture. Using the grid is just a great way to make sure that you take well-centered pictures every time. Sometimes you need to zoom in to take a picture and zooming in is really easy. Once again if you open your camera and you see the plant and it's kind of far away now I've got it centered in the little square we were just talking about but if you want to zoom in a little bit all you have to do is just pinch out like that and you've zoomed in and if you want to zoom back out you pinch in like that and you can see more. So if you've got a subject that's a little further away than you can, a little further away from you that you want to bring closer, just pinch outward and now you've got it and you can take a good picture. Sometimes you can get really close like that. The iPhone camera is really good and it'll stabilize some of that shaking too. And that's how you zoom in and zoom out. Sometimes you'd like to take a selfie, you know, a picture of yourself. So again, you open your camera and here we see the plant that we've been taking pictures of. But if you want to take a selfie, all you have to do is tap this little circle down here that's got arrows on it and the camera turns around to the one behind. And you can just snap a picture. And that's how you take a selfie. So again, you open your camera. You see the little circles right here with the arrows on them. You tap that and you take a picture. And then to get back to your front facing camera, you just tap that. 
and that's all there is to it. And that's how you take a selfie. You know, taking a video on the iPhone is not really hard at all. All you do is open the camera like you always do, and if you'll notice along the bottom here, we have slow-mo, video, photo, portrait, pano, and those are for different types of photography. But clearly, to make a video, you just slide this over to video. And I suggest you turn your camera this way because it's just easier to hold. And then you just tap it, and you'll see a counter up here knowing that you've started the camera. And now you can just take a video, just like that. And it's pretty simple, too. And then when you're done, just tap it again, and that stops it. If you want to view your video without going into your photos, it puts a little icon up here. You can just tap it and watch the video, just like that. Pretty cool. And that's how you make a video using the iPhone. Okay, to share a picture, it's not really that hard. Um, you just go to your photographs, you go to your photos icon, and if you remember, that's the selfie I just took. And you go down here to this little square box where there is an arrow coming out of it, and you might not be able to see that too good on this, but it's there. And you tap on that little box with the arrow, and then you choose who you want to text it to. In this case, I'll send it to my daughter. And I just hit the little blue arrow pointing up, and that's it. And I've sent a picture to my daughter, and it's that easy. Now, when you go in to your pictures and you want to send it somewhere, you may not have anyone in here. So you have to go in and choose if you want to send it by mail, if you want to airdrop it, if you want to text it, the most common names will show up here, but you have to have these in your contacts in order to make that work. I've got a video on how to add contacts uh, to your Apple iPhone, and I suggest you watch that. But once you get your contacts in there, then you can text any uh, picture that you want to any one of your contacts. But you just simply select the picture, and you hit the person you want to send it to, and then you send it on, and that's it. And that's how easy it is to share a picture. Okay, the last bonus tip I want to give you is how to delete a photo. Maybe you took some photo photos of your feet by mistake, or you just have some photos in there that you don't really want anymore. It's very easy to do. All you do is you swipe over and you go into your Photos app, and then you choose the photo that you don't want. Say this one right here. And then you go down to the little icon that's a trash can down at the bottom right hand corner and you tap on that and it'll ask you do you want to delete the photo and of course you do want to delete it you just tap on delete photo and that's it and now you've gotten rid of a picture and you can go through your photos from time to time and just call out the ones that are no good and delete them and then you've got a nice clean photo album on your phone pretty simple for those of you old enough to remember, Kodak owned the picture industry for over a hundred years, until they didn't. Now everyone takes digital pictures with their phones. No more trips to the drugstore to get your film developed, and no more pulling out old dusty photo books either. Just pick up your iPhone or iPad and relive the moments in an instant, and then share those moments with anyone you wish. Well, I hope you found these tips helpful. Using the iPhone camera isn't really all that hard. And with a little practice, you'll be shooting photos like a pro. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.